Hello and welcome to Ising Clay. This video is a short introduction to the Russian Empire's conquest of Siberia. The region of Siberia covers 13 million square kilometers, and in the 1400s it had a population of no more than 300,000 people. In 1483, Muscovite warriors were sent on a military campaign into the Ural Mountains, and in 1555, the Khanate of Sibir became a vassal of the Russian Tsar Ivan IV. The Khanate of Sibir was an ethnically diverse state made from indigenous Siberian tribes that had mostly converted to Islam. But in 1563, a new Khan rose to power in Sibir. Kuchim Khan reasserted the nation's independence from the Russian Tsar. The first imperial expansion eastwards was launched under Ivan IV in 1581, and was led by the Cossack Yermak Timofeyevich. Yermak began his campaign with just 540 Cossacks, but gathered more troops as he advanced eastwards, fighting Kuchim's forces as he did so. Despite his success, Yermak and most of his soldiers were killed during a raid on their camp by Kuchim's forces in 1585. Despite the setback, the Russian advance eastwards continued, and in 1639 they reached the shores of the Pacific Ocean. During the expansion, the Russian government used forts and garrisons to spread its power. In 1586, the city of Tumen was founded, followed by Tomsk in 1604 and Krasnoyarsk in 1628. Other settlements included Tara, Yeniseisk, Mangazea, and Tobolsk, the last of which became the effective capital of Siberia from 1590. The process of expansion was made easier through the assimilation of cooperative tribes and their leadership into the Russian administrative system. For example, Kuchim's grandson, Arslan Halai, was eventually made Khan of the Kasim Khanate, one of the Tsar's vassals. On the topic of Siberia, there are several theories as to where its name comes from. One suggests that it was derived from a fortress called Sibir at Kashlik near Tobolsk. In a map published in 1595 by Gerardus Makator, Sibir is marked as both the settlement and the surrounding area, along a left tributary of the river Ob. Another theory suggests that the name is a Russification of the Sib, who were an indigenous Tungisic people who offered considerable resistance to the Russian advance beyond the Urals. That's all for this video. Sources and citations can be found both in the credits and in the description. If you would like to explore these topics in greater depth, those sources are a good place to start. As with all YouTube channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.